<laughs> what is up? Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Today has been a long awaited day for me. Today is the day that we begin the teardown of the Mazda B2000 to get it ready to become the most badass street drift truck that is LS powered. So, without any further delay, let's get right into it and see what kind of chaos we can get into. So, let's go ahead and get started by taking the grill off and getting the front accessible. So now obviously we're not going to just start cutting into this because we've got AC condenser, radiator, in fact I'm going to take the bumper and the lower balance off and uh, it's going to make it a lot easier to get done what needs to be done. So I'm going to start by draining the coolant and go from there. Next step will be the radiator. Broken tools, always a drag. That's why you don't use screwdrivers, it's a pry bar. That having been done, we should be able to pull that thing out and really begin what we've set out to do, cut the thing up. Oh, no, some bolts hold the thing in first, then we'll, then we'll pull it out, right?
Look, got the shard out without taking the fan off. All right. So at this point, I think I'm ready to make some brackets. Cut this up, pull it apart, and really start to delve in on the motor removal. Okay. So as I stated before, my plan is to cut a section out of this core support, roughly here and here, or somewhere, so that when I'm ready to pull the motor, I can come straight out, leaving the motor and tranny as one unit. But as short as this engine bay is, leaving the transmission on would be a freaking nightmare. So we're gonna avoid doing that by making more work to make less work. So, I'm gonna go make some brackets, then we'll officially cut this after I weld the brackets and add some bolt holes, and see how it works out. All right, so now that we've decided to cut the core support, we need to make some brackets. I'm just gonna use some eighth by three flat bar because I've got a bucket of scrap pieces left over that'll probably work. So let's get the bucket and see what we got. Oh, that's too small. It's already got a hole, but I think it's in the wrong spot. Okay, so this is the piece that I've sort of fit up. And it's going to kind of go into place, but you can see that there's a gap here because there's this contour to flat and it's at an angle. So my goal is to form this piece so that when it's on here, it's flat. In theory, that's the plan. Well, as I thought, I went a little crazy carried away. That really isn't that bad. I'll show you from the other angle. Not too bad, huh? This side came up a little further than I wanted, but that's an easy fix. Take her back in the light and give her a couple of left passes. Right? Isn't that what they say? I do wanna open this back up. I've got it a little carried away and uh, a little tight. So.
I am far more happy with that. Far more happy, far more pleased. That is definitely, as far as I'm concerned, perfect. Oh no! We're cutting from this head. Oh, look at that. We got this. bit of racket there, eh? Alright, and before I cut across here, I'm gonna go ahead, get that bracket on here, and get it drilled, and a riv nut in it, because the more I can keep it in its original location, the more likely it'll be able to go back in its original location.
what? Okay, so I was editing my video and realized that I never completed the project with you guys. I don't know if my camera died or I ran out of memory space or what, but anyways, let's finish this up and I'll show you what happened with the cutting and the bending and the, and the welding and stuff. So, you guys saw the bracket, the cuts, Obviously I did the same thing to this side. You got a couple of screws here. Take the one out. Take the other out. As you can see, the motor's already out. That's an upcoming video. <clears throat> so this process here was uh, well worth the effort and the chaos that I had to go through to make it happen. So. Now you can see all of the glorious space that that created right there for the engine removal. And like I said, in the next video, you'll see the actual engine come out and possibly some mock-up of the LS in. Um, anyways, that's, that's how that went. That's the, the chaos that went down and we endured and got through it. So I hope you liked it, I hope it was entertaining if anything else, or if nothing else I guess. Um, if you liked it, cool, if not, hit the dislike, share, subscribe if you want to. I'm just doing this for some general fun, maybe you guys will like it too. Uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in, have a good one guys.